Oh, I died! I was healing myself! Careful, Ayla, she's dead. <laughs> Jessica and welcome back to Horizon Forbidden West. So we uh, kind of went through the gates uh, forcefully but now Varl is with us and we're gonna go to the embassy location because we cannot wait any longer and I have a feeling something's wrong the reason why the embassy hasn't started so let's hope that it's nothing terrible but knowing Aloy's journey so far it's most oh. likely gonna be terrible. Uh oh. Okay, they don't look friendly. That is the line between east and west. Cross it and die. Hold on now. Let's take it easy. None may walk this valley until our signal sounds. That was our accord with the Karja. I'm not Karja. I came here on my own to ask for rite of passage. But they opened the gate for you, did they not? What is the meaning of this violation? Why send a child? Do they want to parlay or not? The Karja can't be trusted. This is no. Forget the Karja. This has nothing to do with them. I need to go west to save lives. Maybe even yours. The only lives you can save are your own. By turning back. Yeah, now. they all oh. seem the negotiating type. Oh, who's this? Wait. He's telling the truth about one thing. She's For not Shavs? She's a Nora from the Savage East. And if she seeks to save lives, should we not listen? Let me speak to her. One last favor for a fellow marshal before he's taken away. Wait, is that the cousin? Or am I like thinking the name's wrong? I don't know. A fearless red-headed Nora. You must be the so-called savior of Meridian. Just Aloy. I am unyielding Fashav. Once of the Karja High Command, last of the Army of the Setting Sun. You're Fashav. The cousin, yeah. Vod gave me a message for you. That he waits for you in Meridian, where you belong. Hmm. <laughs> Avad always was polite. Well, now I'm even more curious about you knowing that you have the confidence of the Sun King. But such an association with the Karja could work against you here. Didn't think he would be alive. I really thought this dude would have been dead. The way that, uh, you know, Tensions are high. the king was talking this and everything. This is a delicate affair. They're about to return me to the Sundom, a gesture that might help soothe painful grievances. And now you arrive, unheralded. I'm not here to cause trouble. I just need to go west. So you say. I might be able to help. Wait, how did um Silence get through then? If he went west, how did he get past everybody? I've never seen markings like those on a Karja before. The Karja see ink is decoration. For the Tanakh, it is much more. A litany of deeds. A record of vanquished enemies. That's very common in a lot Looks of cultures. Like vanquished quite a few. I've fought my share of battles. Not like I killings, I mean, there's significance to tattoos. <laughs> is only half complete. This side shows my martial deeds. Before I die, I'd like to see the other half marked with the laurels of peace. Hmm. How did you come to be among the Tanakh? It's quite a story, but not a quick one. Though I suppose neither of us is going anywhere before the embassy begins. I mean, I kind of have to be somewhere, but you know. Sure you <laughs> Just tell me, I need to know. Time. Very well. We need information. <laughs> I marched with Sun King Jaron's raiders when they came west, hoping to moderate their worst impulses. I failed, of course. They committed unspeakable atrocities, stirring the Tanakh into action. When the clans overran our forward encampment at Cinnabar Sands, I stayed behind to help the last stragglers evacuate and was taken prisoner. I didn't make it easy for my captors, mind you. 
and they paid me back in kind on the journey to their capital. I lost so much blood on the way that I was white as a corpse when they threw me before Chief Akaro. I thought I was dead for sure, so I resorted to desperate measures. Uh, desperate measures? So when you met the Tanakh chief, you did something desperate? Now, I'd kept my ears open as the Tanakh dragged me along, and I heard mutterings about a kind of trial by combat that they revere. Ooh. So, when they flung me at Akaro's feet, I demanded this right, called the Kurut, thinking that by winning I could request a boon, my life or even my freedom. The other Tanakh howled, but Hakaro stared them down. And then his gaze fell upon me. Evidently, he appreciated my ingenuity. He allowed me to participate in the cool route. Little did I know what I was in for. You said the cool route is a Tanakh's trial by combat. Yes. But it is no ordinary trial. Why do I feel like we're going to be doing other, this trial by combat kind of Instead, thing? Instead, the combatants fight machines in a great arena. You know, like, it seems significant to Aloy. Believe me, it is no easy thing to stare down a charging machine while hundreds around you scream for blood. I know more about that than yeah, you. Yeah, we kind of been in that situation yeah. in the last game. <laughs> well, then you have my respect. Like you, I lived through it to claim my prize. I had hopes for freedom, but well, that wasn't on offer. Only service to the chief. Hmm. You wound up serving the Tanakh chief. The winners of the Kul Root must serve the chief as his marshals. You mentioned that word before. What does it mean? Well, the word itself refers to a kind of protective spirit from the ancient past. In practice, marshals are Hikaro's roving lawgivers, part magistrate, part judge, part executioner. I won my place among their ranks and served as honor demanded, but many Tanakh still spat on the ground when I walked by. But they did, until I started forcing them to the ground to grind their faces in it. I guess that's one way to deal with it. As you may have noticed, violence is the native tongue of the Tanakh. Yeah, I kind of got the, the vibe master. that these these people back here are not the friendly. Truth is, though, the truth though, the speak it too. More than they should. I can't blame the Tanakh for hating them. Oh uh, yeah, I guess so, because we don't know their their side, right? So then, are you still Karja? Part of me, yes. Always. But but there is much right to now. admire about the Tanakh, especially their chief. I've heard stories about what it was like before his reign. Three clans always at war, constantly slitting each other's throats. Hikaru and the marshals have crafted a delicate peace. And now he looks to the future. Who knows? Maybe that future will include cooperation with the Karja. The Karja talk about Hikaru as if he's a monster. The Karja feel compelled to demonize him if only because he swept them from the field. Mm. It is true that he is fearsome. When I was first taken before him, I thought he would flay me alive. But he is no bloodthirsty tyrant like the Mad Sun King was. I feel like that's like I think a thing. That if you were fortunate enough to meet him as I was. People, was even like nowadays when you look at like I don't know, like political parties or something, they'd be like, "Oh my god, they're terrible." Blah blah blah. And then you get to know that they're not really like what they say. <laughs> so, it doesn't so, surprise me that he's saying that's that. That's my story. Cuz it does, it does seem like they don't the give Eastern the Tanakh a chance it. anyway. But not the last. Which is why they're so aggressive. Maybe that's why they're so because pissed off all the time. I've learned. Yeah. The way you talk about the Tanakh is a lot different than how they do. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Are you glad to be going back to Meridian? Oh, I'll admit that I wouldn't mind sleeping in a feather bed or sipping wine from the southern vineyards. But I have another goal in mind. What's that? As someone who knows the Tanakh and the Karja, I'm in a unique position to advocate for both. He wants peace, definitely. If like he was saying with the tattoos. Amenable, my hope is to establish a lasting peace. Right. The Tanakh don't seem that peaceful. They're not, as a rule. But these are difficult times. Chief Akaro knows that survival often requires change, even if that change means putting aside centuries of war. Well, I hope this works. You asked, 
Why I need rite of passage. I'll tell you, but you won't like my answer. Six months ago, the world almost ended in Meridian. That threat still exists. It's getting worse every day, much worse. Calling down storms, poisoning the water, enraging the machines. The source of it all has gone west, and I'm the only one who can stop it. I've seen the signs, and I've heard tales of incredible occurrences in Meridian, an army of demons vanquished by a red-haired champion. So I'm inclined to believe you. Well, I'm glad you the do. The burden of your task is written across your face clearer than any mark of mine. I'll grant you this, to serve as proof of your right to travel into Tanakh lands. But what about Varl? A task so important, and it's just the two of you. Take well, it if we got Aaron to come with us! <laughs> allies are essential. That's why I wish she brought Chief him! Chief knows the West better than anyone. He may be able to help you. He can be intimidating to others, but don't let that deceive you. I feel like Aloy can handle it. His word. Maybe. If I need him. She's Your gonna choice. need him. I feel like she's gonna need him. You can find him at his palace, past the mountains to the southwest. Thank you. Tell him I sent you. And he'll listen to Look! Me. The Sky Clan's banner. Marshals. It wasn't easy, but I brought the Sky Clan with me. And the commander? Uh no. I could only convince a few. He isn't yet aware we left. We have banners from all three clans. If there are fewer from the Sky Clan, it can't be helped. He's right. Sound the horn. What's going on? The Not all Tanakh can stomach the idea of parlay with the Kaja. But enough have come for us to begin. Then I'll be on my way. No. The other marshals will not permit it. You wanted safe passage, you have it. After the embassy. God damn it. <laughs> Hey, at least it's starting, so something. Oh god, here comes uh studious. <laughs> the Karja have opened the gates. <laughs> Why does Studious always look like he's like struggling to walk? Is this guy okay? <laughs> As the sun rises over a land at war, so too can it set over a land at peace. Today is such- What? Hear me, marshals! You who claim to be Tanakh- No, don't. Oh, God! Regala, Chief Akaro's biggest mistake, a rival whom he should have killed. You have forgotten that our people were She looks born tough as blood. hell. The blood of the Karja. She looks like a badass, though. Look at her armor. <laughs> pledge your spears to a chief who conspires with the enemy. Hikaru has betrayed us. The embassy is proof. And all of you marshals are his accomplices. For this, I condemn you to death. You'll need more than toothless threats to intimidate us. Exile. She probably has backup. Oh shit! Uh, okay, that, that I didn't think that kind of backup. Um, Lancers, pour them up. That's what I meant by backup. Actual people. They're riding machines. Where'd they learn to do that? Silence. Silence. Yeah, he because he taught us. Vashav. Bitch. Come with us now. That's how we oh, got no, through. No, no. They the exiles probably helped him. Yo, that's probably oh, what God. happened. Light them up. Oh no. Get to cover. Uh. Oh shit. 
I can't do it like that? Okay, I, that was my mistake, I guess. Why doesn't it just shoot at them? Oh my god. Maybe I'm just terrible at this. I'm I don't know. Just being borrowed now. The flip is that guy. You, Outlanders, I'll skin you both. Um, Chief, grant me the honor of this challenge. Granted. You're next, girl. Damn, why does this guy have a shield? I've never seen a shield like that. Better scan it. Better scan it? How can I scan it while this guy's like after me? I can break through a shield if I damage it enough. I gotta get through that shield. <laughs> ah! Shit! I can keep going. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh my god, what the fuck? Hang on, I gotta get some like Give it up. Gotta get some medicinal herbs, hang on, okay? I think it's getting damaged. I Shit. You're not stopping me! What if I... Hmm. Oh no! Oh no! Okay, that's 
not survive good. this outlander. That's not what I wanted. There! Not my chance! Is acid a work on this fucking thing? I think I have to scan him. I've gotta break that shield! What the fuck? It regenerates? I thought that was it! Oh no! Oh my god. That shield's not gonna save you! That's really not. Okay, hang on. Okay! It's not gonna save me either. Block, right? Oh, fuck. There. Give it up. <laughs> Gotta take down that shield. Yikes. Okay, we're good. We're good. Your time is over! Shield's gone. He's vulnerable. Where are you, motherfucker? You're not stopping me! In this fight. Oh my god, this is so annoying. Dude, why? I gotta break through his block. This battle is done! Fuck! Oh no! I've gotta break that shield! I'm gonna try. Brother, what the fuck do you think you're doing? That shield's not gonna save you. Oh, there we go. He's got no armor anymore. Okay, if I can get behind him, I could knock him out. There we go. <sighs> god damn. Oh my god. Your turn. Come down here and face me. No. It was an honorable challenge. You've earned your life today. Comrades. Mark this day! Today you have decimated the marshals! Slaughtered the Karja! So begins our war on Hikaru. Ah! Move out! Okay, Silence needs to have a word with us. Who did he give this power to? Or I should say knowledge. Get him to the camp. Now. Var, are you good? You gonna make it? You're going on without me, aren't you? Guess I'm stuck with Aaron. For now. <laughs> Come on. 
I'll take you back to the fort. No, Vishav. Oh my god. I got you. Oh my god, what a disaster. I knew it was gonna go horribly wrong, but twist, it wasn't exactly the Tanakh, it was just uh, exiles. And I guess silence got to them. It's salvage time, boys. Um. Ooh, I'll take that, thanks. I don't think it can take a hit, but I should be able to use it to glide. Yes! Aloy. We're still trying to sort out this mess. Seems like the Tanakh have a civil war in their hands. That sounds about right. The marshals weren't expecting Regala to attack. And the entire... Karja delegation was slain. Nozar, Vwadis, Peshav. A massacre. What will you do now? I have to head west. Hopefully this rite of passage is still good. He, yeah, Vishav but did give after, us that, so maybe we'll move to knock the something. I have to. Then you have a long road ahead of you. This is only the threshold of the Forbidden West. The Tanakh's true domain lies over the mountains that border Plainsong, home of the Utaru tribe. This isn't Tanakh's territory? All that out there? That's no man's land. It was supposed to be neutral ground, though obviously this Regala ignored that. Her rebels approached from the north, with all those machines they were riding. They must have made camp up that way. The rebels were riding bristlebacks. And there were bristlebacks in the Daunt. Are you saying the rebels let them into the Daunt? How would that even be possible? Silence. I don't know. Silence. Just, Just blame silence. Answer. Damn it, Lance Ritter. Honest, <laughs> there were a number of Karja and Asaram who went out there before the gates were shut for the embassy. Maybe you could check in on them. See if they're all right. I can keep an eye out. Is there a tall neck somewhere nearby? A tall neck? There's that one over there near the Utara border, but why... It's, uh, it's hard to explain. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It'll help me get the lay of the land. If you say so. Is there anything else I can tell you before you go? Uh, oh god, okay, let's, let's just ask about this. Wow, there's a lot. You said the Tanakh's lands are far to the west. What can I expect to find between here and there? Well, as I mentioned, you've got a stretch of wilderness known as No Man's Land, and then new Taru farmlands. Past that are the Tanakh. Their territory is split into three clans. Desert, lowland, and sky. Right. I saw their banners at the embassy. The desert clan is closest. Ooh, vicious lot. Where everyone else sees an inhospitable wasteland, they see a challenge to dominate. Hmm. Somewhere beyond the desert is the tribe's capital and the territories of the other two clans. You don't sound certain. I've only heard the stories. During the Red Raids, the Karja army tried to push into Tanakh territory. But the United Clans rose up against them, forced them all the way back to the Daunt. So no one except the Tanakh really know what's beyond the desert? <laughs> Maybe the scholars do, back in Meridian. All those scrolls have to be filled with something, right? Plain song. You mentioned the Utaru tribe. Their lands are between here and the Tanakh further west? That's right. Plainsong is their home. They're a peaceful bunch, at least compared to the Tanakh. More taken to farming than fighting. It's hard to imagine a bunch of farmers surviving in the Forbidden West. Make no mistake, they have a fierceness all their own. 
When the Karja were pushed back during the Red Raids, their warriors chased ours through the burning fields of Plainsong. The Sun King has made several overtures of peace to them as well, but so far, they've declined. If they're so peaceful, why decline? Don't know. I heard they have their own troubles to deal with. Something about a food shortage. You'd think that'd make them open to trade, but... No. They just want to be left alone. You said there were others who went out when the gates were open before. Like who? Well, in addition to the salvagers that just went through, there were a couple of other parties of Osirum Delvers. Even saw two Karja scholars trekking southwest with an Osirum crew. Not sure if they're exceptionally brave or just fool About Vashav. <sighs> the man was taken captive by the Tanakh. Survived for years out in the west, only to die just short of the Sundom. It's a cruel end for a good soldier. There was I don't more think so. He wanted to do. Yeah. He spoke of advocating for lasting peace between the Karja and Tanakh. Too late for that now. What will happen to him? His body will be carried back to Meridian. As the cousin of the Sun King, he will be accorded official rights and buried with honor. No soldier could ask for more. That's fucking sad because he was saying how he, before he dies, he wants to make sure that his other half of his tattoo is filled for peace. And now he can never do that. It's too bad about Nazar and Vodis. At least Nazar went down fighting. As for the Sun Priest, well, I, I, well you know, no one deserves to go out that That's way. what I was saying. He's a coward, sure but he's not a fighter. So what are we supposed to do? It's the least I can do. Fashav called Regala a rival. Someone that's knocked the chief should have killed. <laughs> yeah, I reckon he should have. She's obviously a huge threat. Yeah. Her attack was coordinated and precise. Until you got in her way, that is. They knew the lay of the land. And they knew Fashav was going to be handed over at the embassy. If the Tanakh weren't expecting her, she must have spent months gathering an army in secret. They had to have made camp nearby. Somewhere they could lie low until the perfect moment to strike. Do you think the Karja will take action against Regala? Seems like you'd have common ground with the Tanakh. An expedition of the Karja army into the west could be taken as the start of another invasion. Right, it's too Some delicate. Some king of I won't risk it. That said, we can't allow ourselves to be caught unaware by an attack like that again. I need to be on my way. Then I wish you luck. The gates will always be open to you should you wish to return. Thank you. And don't worry about your friends. We'll get them patched up. I know they will, and then they'll eventually follow Aloy. <laughs> I appreciate it. Sun, watch over you, Aloy. I hope you find what you're looking for. Thank you. all right oh my god what a disaster that was okay so um i got four points so i can do something automatically recover health sooner than with the critical hit resist more damage uh toughen Ooh, this is valor surge learn all three connected the skills to automatically unlock it oh okay that's cool let's do this one first uh because i feel like i should Warrior. Nora Warrior. Block Breaker. I'm gonna get the, the Warrior one first. I need to learn different moves, dude. That was like awful. Concentration depletes more, or. I, I think I already have this. Yeah, I have this already. So we'll get this one. There we go. Do more damage and stealth. We'll get that. Okay. My goodness. Okay, let me scavenge all of this because I need to replenish all my stuff anyway. Ready for anything now? Oh yeah, and then we got the shield wing. Energy-based glider reposes for machines. Hold square while in the air to deploy and circle to stop gliding. I'm gonna try that because I think that's my cue to leap off of here, honestly. <laughs> so, this is the Forbidden West. Yep. 
A whole new frontier to explore. Aloy's never been here. from the spire should lead to silence in Hades. And just maybe a backup of Gaia. It won't be easy out there. Yeah. The blight, the storms, recall as machine writers. But I'll have to push through it all. Find a way to fix the world. All right, I think it's time for Aloy to jump off. This is kind of cool. Look at that. Whoa. All that desert. And you can see the blight all over there. Okay, here we go. <laughs> it worked. Oh, this is so cool. I'm gonna just land safely over here. Wow, okay. Guess I can leap off just about any cliff now. <laughs> yeah, it looks like That's it. taking over the land out here, too. Ah, oh, shit. Looks like it's more so here. Am I wrong? Look at all the the machines. The, like Hades, like machines. Oh my god! I just killed an animal. No! <laughs> the whole point of us doing this is to save all the animals. What the fuck did I do? Oh no! Why do I keep killing animals? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that poor crow! What the fuck? It looks like the coordinates Silence gave me matched that wreckage. Did he install Hades on another Titan? Wait, that was the ending of uh, Zero Dawn, wasn't it? Like after the credits? He was like looking at a Titan, wasn't he? I can't remember. But I think he was. I should have some of the sweat. All right, let's go over here and see. Do I have to dive under there or something? I didn't mean to do that, sorry. Let me swim up for a second. I don't want to waste my oxygen. I'll dive in when we get closer. Explore down there. I wonder what I could find. What cars? Oh my gosh, is that a tank? I don't know what that is. This is it. The location of the coordinates I scanned from the spire. The workshop underneath a dead Horus Titan. Just the kind of place Silence would slink away to. You think he's still here? What was he doing here? That okay. device is blinking. I guess Silence wants me to check it out. Of course Silence does. Poor Hades. So cramped in there. No room to think. You can't even speak. Now, the processing orb of a Titan, on the other hand, well, you're used to that. Yeah. Once I load you on that, you'll be so much more comfortable. He did. Until Unless he did it, I don't know. But, like, he, that's what he was doing. Yo, what the fuck is this guy doing out here? Okay, I'll, I'll press the button in a second. I just want to get all this stuff. And also, uh, you know, fix my, my weapons would be nice. Some kind of log. Most of it's redacted. It looks like Silence put a lot of work into forcing Hades to talk. What was that noise? Corruption minimal. Day one. Despite my concerns about missing couplings, it was relatively simple to install Hades on the detached processing orb. The subject appears to be fully conscious and completely helpless. Even so, it will never divulge its contents willingly. Ergo, it's time for some experimentation. Day two. My initial attempts to coerce have failed, but my patience is in order. It's self-aware, so it can suffer. All it takes is the correct stimulus. A significant intensity. Day five. Success. The irony is delicious. Various forms of data produce discomfort in the subject, but none more so natural than imagery. Holographic representations of plants and animals work best. The more vivid, the better. The effects appear to be excruciating. One loop in particular of a rabbit hopping through the fields of flowers produced pro paroxysms of agony. Very soon, I believe the subject will become compliant. Day six. I've extracted some fascinating te technical specs on Gaia's data structure, specifically how her heuristic matrix interweaves with the subordinate functions. Yet I, uh, yet the more I learn about the systems 
intended workings, especially Hades' relative simple role as extinction failsafe, the more I wonder about the signal that has corrupted it. What could have possibly transformed the low-level machine intelligence into a fully conscious super entity capable of strategic planning, deceit, and even genocide? Some form of previously known as Faro software, perhaps? I don't see how the technology could sufficiently advance unless further technical discoveries were made after the destruction of Biosphere, perhaps by survivors of Elysium? It all seems far-fetched, but now that source then, eventually Hades will tell me what I want to know. Day 7, it appears that my coercing efforts come to a significant cost. Hades' daddy convulges pr uh, produce waves of feedback and corruption instead of its structures. And its effect is accelerating. The integration is quite literally disintegrating its mind piece by piece. By the time I'm done, there will be little left. No matter the data I've extracted and will continue to extract is worth any price as long as I can access it from... Uh, all of it before the subject becomes electronic equivalent of a hollowed out skull. Day 10, finally, the revelation I have been seeking has revealed itself, astonishing and terrifying even to me. With it, seeds of my plan have been formed within my mind. The next few months will be test the cap uh, capacities more of any previous challenge. I'll have a stretch of my intellect, reach higher and dig deeper than before. Yes, I'm confident it can be accomplished, with little help, of course. Day 12, my work here is done. All, all I can learn, hey, deserves no pity, but it's intended a pitiful state. It's time to relocate in more impressive position for uh, its date with destiny. About that, Aloy still hasn't returned to Meridian nor learning of my ruse. But she will, it's only a matter of time. And then the pieces will finally begin to fall in place. What a fucking asshole. But he said he was interrogating it. Why the hell was he doing that? That's kind of weird. Aloy, oh. consider this message a beacon to help guide you out of the fog of ignorance. Using explosives, I've detached the processing orb from the Titan overhead, a perfect cage for our mutual friend, Hades, in order to render it cooperative. Tell her what we've discussed about the mysterious signal that gave you life. Signal alignment for me. Signal was received for unseven. you need a reminder that you have failed. So you see, Aloy, Gaia can be safely rebooted. As for where to find a backup, well, you'll need to trot along after me to find out. He thinks he's got it all figured out. I know. Bastard. But I guess there's so? only one way to find out where he moved the orb. So here I am, following along after silence like a fool. After he tricked me by rigging his lance to steal Hades. Yeah. A crazy AI that wants to kill everything. He couldn't just let me do the same thing and destroy it? No, because he has other have plans. To put up with more of a self-righteous bull. Is that a... What the fuck? Is that a glint hawk? What is that thing? Should we just run for it? I don't know how well this is going to go for me, though. If I find the right cauldron, I could learn how to override this machine. I think I can sneak past them, I think. Where's that trail, though? Simons must be pretty confident he's found a backup of Gaia, but... How? Every place I've checked, every lead, they've all been dead ends. All backups purged. So what did Hades tell him? It's either the truth or maybe H would Hades lie though? I don't know if that's like even possible because he's saying that like he was interrogating it, so he must be like torturing it, right? A merchant. Didn't expect to see anyone else out here. Did I just I sneak past everything? <laughs> Did I just sneak past everything? Oh there! Hi. What's Nora doing this far west? Uh, you don't want to know. Uh, no matter, no matter. I can get you stocked up for the wilds if you need it. Yeah, that'd be great, sir. Okay, um, let me get some Frostbow, because, like, why not? That's a very efficient piece of hardware you just bought. Yeah, th thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Goodbye. So, I can make some Frostbows, too. Uh, Frost Arrows, just should, I should say. I need the fire ones, and I think that was back at, um... Get this from my stash when I need it. 
other place. It's okay. I can go back later anyway. A ruin. Okay. Let's see where this goes. I guess Silence used that machine to haul his prize. Probably. Okay, this is so creepy, but this kind of matches Silence's like vibe. Having must like be a the orb Silence stuck Hades in. And the door. That's the orb. Like a facility. Or a zero dawn? Uh okay. Come on, Hades. You still in there? Is that you? System threat detected. You don't look so good. Nope. You are the Aloy. Come to destroy me. Yes. Permanently this time. Even like this, you're a threat to Gaia. Once I resurrect her. So you have not yet secured Gaia. No, there's no Gaia need to... Okay. Earth and you too. Despite malfunctions, I have won. That is what Hades wanted, anyway. Silence asked you where to find a backup of Gaia. Data error. Memory structures disintegrated. Of course. Right. Because that would have been easy. What did silence do to you, Hades? It's like you've been hollowed out. Silence interrogated me. And what did you tell him? Memory disintegrated too. Great! Yep! Memory structures disintegrate. Okay. You don't remember any of it? I remember you. What, like me beating you at the spire? Okay, that's not going anywhere. When the mysterious signal transformed you, it made Gaia's other subordinate functions conscious too. You escaped when Gaia destroyed herself, but so did they. Where did they go? Each function migrated to coordinates based on... God damn it, we're not gonna get any answers! Everything's corrupted! Structures disintegrated. Bunch of crazed AIs scattered who knows where, doing who knows what. Hephaestus kills thousands every year with the combat machines it keeps making. And you nearly ended the world. Seven more functions out there cooking up trouble. It's not a happy thought. You are unhappy. Good. Anyone ever tell you you've got a great personality, Hades? <laughs> Sarcasm. Detect. <laughs> yeah, don't think so. Do you know where Silence went? Probably not. Uh, he departed 12.8 days ago. Perhaps he <laughs> Data error. Behavior prediction structures. So you don't know anything more than I do. Great. Silence questioned you about the mysterious signal. The one that woke you, gave you consciousness. Who sent it? Signal transmitted by masters. And who are they? Masters woke me to destroy earthly life. Who? Who would want that? <laughs> And it error, great. Data error, memory structures disintegrated. 
Do you know why Silence dragged you to these ruins? Silence, and then you find me. It's a trap. It's to lure Aloy. He did say that. But why? What was this place? Not a trap, but like a lore or whatever. Data error! Data error. Memory structures disintegrate. My deathbed. He called it my grave. But you... I guess I'll find out when I go inside. Enough. It's time to finish this. Does Aloy still think she can restore? Yes. Yeah. Aloy does. Then you are deluded. Extinction inevitable. What would you know, Hades? Twice you tried to destroy life on Earth, and twice you failed. The only extinction you ever brought about is your own. And there's no tricked out lands to save you this time. You are incorrect. Three times. Three? You remember this? Yes, data intact. Non viable biospheres aborted in years 2054, 2161, 2168. So? That, that's centuries ago. It's what you were designed to do. There won't need to be. I'm saving this one. Master Override, arms. To activate, state name and rank. Elizabeth Sobek, Alpha Prime. Master Override activated. Bridging extinction protocol. He's still talking. I see you've dealt with Hades. Yeah. Think maybe you can stay dead this time? It will. You can trust. Trust? Yes. Trust. As in, since I did what you could never do, and extracted all of Hades' priceless knowledge, you can trust that I was willing to actually let you destroy it this time. That's why he left, left it there. Instead of face to face? What, afraid I'd stab you or something? There's a reason I'm I... using the same spyware, I see. So, all those times I called, you could have just answered. But I guess you just prefer to go on spying all this time. My world stopped revolving around you months ago, Aloy. I've had work to do. Are you sure? Because you're still talking to her, dude, and leaving a trail for her. Intensive as it has been critical to the fate of this planet. <laughs> right. Of course. You're just trying to save the world, too. That's right. The difference, of course, is that unlike you, I've produced results. Hmm. Did you find a backup of Gaia or not? Oh, yes. I believe I did. Where? Voila. Why do you think I summoned you here? I don't know, to tease her? Behind that gene-locked hatch lie the ruins of the ancient facility where the Hades extinction protocol was perfected. A testing process that ran hundreds of trials, each of them using a backup of Gaia. Hades told you this? It took some convincing. But yes. So, are you ready to go get what you've been searching for for the last six months? Or are you just going to stand there with your mouth open? Okay. You mentioned you've been busy. Exceptionally busy. But not so busy you couldn't teach Tanakh the rebels to override machines, ride them as mounts. Aloy, the only issue you should be concerned about is obtaining a Gaia backup. Perhaps if you focused more, you might actually see results. 
That's not Is exactly it me or is like Silence sounds. kind of like an anti-hero kind of dude? Because I feel like I still feel like he's not the main villain. I don't know. Just to confirm. Just the way that he's talking. He sounds so smug, but at the same time, it's like I don't think it's just a matter of like being an ass to be a villain. Thousand years ago. Backups that didn't get purged when Ted Farrow wiped every copy of Apollo. Correct. According to Hades, this facility could not be accessed by remote signal. Not even Ted Farrow could touch the data here. Backups. Data complete. Gaia and her subordinate functions. Everything needed to reboot the system. Restore control over the terraforming system. Save life on Earth. In there. So Hades said. So what are you waiting for? Did Hades reveal the source of the mysterious signal? The one that woke it, tried to destroy life on Earth? Yes, it did. And you're not gonna sure. tell me. In due time. No, oh, okay. First things first, Aloy. Last I checked, you still had a super intelligent AI named Gaia to reboot. This yeah. freaking dude. The same Gaia who had to destroy herself 20 years ago because of the signal? It stopped being transmitted years ago. It's no longer a threat. What if it repeats? It won't. Even if it did, well... <sighs> the details are complicated, but the signal required Hades to take effect. Delete Hades from any backup you reboot, and Guy is safe. Now stop wasting time. Go get a backup. He needs Aloy to do something. That's, that's what it is. All right. I'll search the facility for a guy about It's obvious that, you know, but that's what he was doing silence, in the first game, but like... Another one of your tricks. It's a gene-locked hatch, Eloy. You're literally the only person who can open it. How could I set a trap inside? Trick Bro, me again, I don't know. Silence, and our next conversation will be face-to-face. -face. Though you won't have much to say on account of my spear being buried in your throat. Damn. Eloy. Thanks to me... Everything you've desired, everything you've been fumbling about, unable to achieve for six months, is now within your grasp. Now, I know you didn't learn much about manners growing up a Nora outcast, but in a situation like this, oh no, you say, don't Thank you. no, and no, I say, you're welcome. And he just fucking leaves. Okay. Okay, I think this is a good spot to end this episode. Silence is the most confusing person ever because I still don't know what the heck he's trying to do, but clearly he wants Aloy to do something in order to get what he needs. And apparently what he needs is to help save the world, but I don't know how. And Hades wasn't no help there, but I feel like the, their ramblings at the end before Aloy like destroyed it was kind of significant. I'm not really sure. And then adding on top of that, we're officially into the west side, or at least no man's land, but I have a feeling all of the Tanoth are going to be trouble for Aloy a little bit later on. So I'm hoping that Varl and Aaron will come later because I would like their help. <laughs> Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this episode of Horizon Forbidden West, remember to leave a like. Please let me know in the comments what you think. And be sure to subscribe and hit the bell button for more episodes of Horizon Forbidden West. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!